Yeah, so uh, I don't know. Looks like we're on a date, but the girls are already here, right? Right. There's a lot of girls. We, we came here to pick up on curry, actually. We're here for a date with curry, and uh, this place is called... Sangosho. Sangosho? Mm. I'm starving. Supposed to, what kind of curry do they have here? Oh, by the way, this is... Uh, who are you, Freddy Krueger? I'm new here. You're new here. Okay, you guys got a mask on, but this is Ronnie. <laughs> this is, this I, is, I'm sick. This yeah. is Ronnie Ronnie 999. Yeah. He, he's my he's my surgeon. He's helping me with the surgery like I'm having next week. Yeah, he's looking cool, huh? I have to concentrate on drugs. Okay, 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 concentrate. All right, all right. This is the most exciting day of my life. It's so crowded. The Japanese, Japanese like to make a line, long line to get food. It's, it's just a popular place. And, uh... So would it be too, like if you, if you see a long line in Japan, the rule is you should get in it. Is that true? Yeah. Does that mean they have good food or does that mean just it's popular? It's just popular, so um, you, you don't have to expect the, you know, the food. Okay. But it should be okay. It's more like you, it's more like you'll be on the line and you get satisfied for that. Not by food, just you know, participating on the line. That that's how we get satis uh, satisfied. Because you gotta back in wherever you go in Japan. You have to back into the spot. Hmm? You always have to back into the spot in Japan. I have to look at the mirror. Okay. There's a mirror right there. Look at that. Look at that technology. Yeah, we are officially in line. Yeah, and we're not at the back of the line, actually. So what do you think? How long do you think this will take? It will take like uh, uh, two hours to get inside. Two hours. Did you say two hours? Can you, can you wait two hours just to get food? I want to experience what it's like to, to wait in line. I want to, I want to feel that. Okay, so, so just a little update here, guys. We've been waiting in line for 10 minutes, and we haven't moved. We're still in the same corner with the fire. We've been waiting 20 minutes now. Is it 20? Okay, but but check this out. We're not at the end of the line anymore. Look at look at all the people that have joined. It's all the way back there. And that's the ocean out there, somewhere. Yeah. So, um, I'm really starting to feel the experience. <laughs> yeah. So, how long did we spend in line? About 20, 30 minutes? Uh, we only did 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and the line didn't really move, and it just kept getting longer behind us. So, we're gonna go try another place. But, right. but it seemed like the people in line didn't mind though. What's up with that? They were, they seemed... Yeah, because they are... We Japanese people are uh, other enough is we can get satisfied by uh, by being on the line. So it's not, it's not like we get satisfied by eating their food actually, you know. We eat food actually, but we just get satisfied by you know, being on the line, huh? It, because uh, I mean, if it's pos if it's popular place, we get on the line because we want to get satisfied. Do you do you like brag to your friends the next day at work? And say I waited three hours in line at this place and ate, or no? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, you know, if I did, if I did wait uh, three hours and eat, actually, I want to tell people about that. It's beautiful, huh? Right around here. Look at that train station. And over here, there's the Enoshima Island. And it, it is actually really dark right now, but this camera has does excellent low light. Yeah. Shout out to the, the Canon G7X. And the vending machine in Shibuya that I got it from. Yeah, it's good. Is it? Yeah. Did you get the vending machine? Yeah. Shit. Send it. Thousand yen. I'll, I'll, put a, I'll put a link to the video for you guys that haven't seen it. Is it true? It's a six hundred dollar camera for basically nine dollars. The best day of my life. Yeah. Oh, is it true? Yeah. So now we're we're moving on to Plan B, which is going to be Plan B is going to be. Did we decide we're going to? A, is it a burger? Or? 
What do you want to eat? Burger or pizza? Uh, burger or sandwich place, maybe we could try. Or, or I don't know, soba? 7 Eleven? We've been. Burgers. Lobster rolls. Look at that. Taste of Maine. Lobster crab. Fish and chips. Uh, oh, I don't know. Just have a nice day. That's all that really matters. Avocado. Oh, eat it. So here's my wallet. Look at your wallet. The thing is massive. What do you got in there? Like million yen? You're loaded. What was it? Payday? What are those? Credit cards? Uh, it's just the... What are those? This is all private information. We can't share this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> can't share that. The credit card numbers and all that. They're going to find you. Oh, yeah. That's true. Stalkers. <laughs> Oh yeah. You got the big one? Looks good. Or salt. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Do not drop that going up the stairs. Be very, very that wasn't even funny. There it is. See the signature things here are the hamburger, the lobster roll, pancakes, fish and chips. Yeah. Looking forward to this. Maybe some waves. It's huge. Oh boy, lobster roll. I haven't had one of these for probably 10 years when I was in Maine. Looks pretty good. Picture over picture. That is, that's the standard JS burger. Is that the one you got? Just the, the normal? Right, the signature burger. Those onions look good. Avocado. Avocado, cheddar. Patty, onion, sliced tomato, the rest. It's pretty good. So far, so good. So far, so good. How are those the grilled onions? It looks like, huh? Oh, there you go. Get the food porn going. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, Ronnie and I go way back on YouTube. I started in late 2006 or seven, and you started in what, 2008 maybe? Does that sound about right? Yeah. I've been on YouTube for a long time. And this is going to be my last video, so I just wanted to tell you guys that. I wanted to bring, bring in my good friend to uh, make the announcement together, but um, we're coming out and uh, we're coming out basically and we are going to be going to hawaii moving to hawaii where we will have our ceremony like a private ceremony and uh you know you guys will never hear from us again but, but we just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts and it, it's been a great great time on youtube but we're on great time it's been a fun trip it's been a fun trip like but, but we're on to bigger and better things and you know many people have asked me if i'm gay and i'm still never going to answer that question but this is the end of the series. I want to thank you guys for all your support. And, uh, Aloha. Ciao. Well, I think I'm going to start with the uh, lobster roll here. Yeah, I'm going to start with this monster from Maine. Let's get that meat. Oh. My mouth's like watering right now. I haven't even nailed you know, my mouth. So I'm salivating, just looking at it. I feel like a dog. Oh. Wow. It's very, very meaty, very tender. The bun's got a lot of flavor. I taste butter. Mmm. Wow. This is heaven. Wow, this is so good. Look at, this. Look at the size of that piece of meat. The size of that thing. It's a claw. It's the claw, right? That's, the, that's this, right? 
Really super meaty, a lot of muscle. Mm. It's buttery, but not too much. Super, super fresh. It's the bun that's just dripping in oil. Look at that. Ugh. Oh, that is fantastic. You want to try the lobster? Mm. Like it? I like I like the bun. The bun, yeah, it's just super. It's like a French roll or something, isn't it? Just right. A lot of butter. You get fat. Messy though, right? Yeah. What are you dipping it in? Hmm? <laughs> oh, you're you're dipping lobster in. I don't know. It's just ketchup and let in uh, mustard. Huh? Still good. There's no rules here. The condiments are, yeah, it comes with, there's ketchup, mustard, there's also tartar sauce here, a whole bunch of different things. There's vinegar, but that's for the fish, so, yeah. Lobster, all gone. I think I'm gonna order like three more of these to take out. What do you think? We get some to go for later? Yeah. Established in New York, but the actual, the burgers, what did the guy say? The burgers actually are, is it Japan? It's original, origin, originated in Japan. In Japan. And the fish and chips too, right? Mm. Yeah, so. Way to go, Japan. Nicely done. The yeah. place is really comfortable, relaxing. Yep. Uh, definitely a hot date spot. Yeah. Next up, I'm gonna try the fries. These are the, uh, the shoestring fries, I think they're called. Right, skinny? Oh, tasty. A little bit of flavor. They're really super greasy, salty, good. Now they're perfect. Yeah. And they give you a big portion of fries, so there's a lot. <laughs> right? Mm, this is like more than you get at McDonald's. For sure. It's like an extra large order of fries. Mm. Not just a side sort of order. All right, let's try the fish. Let's dig into this. You get four pieces of fish. This is a really super, this is just the regular order. It's not the large, four pieces. So, let's see what it looks like. Cut into that. Good looking piece of fish, huh? It's very crispy. This is tartar sauce. Really super thick tartar sauce. Mm. The breading on this is just amazing. This is vinegar here. I'll try vinegar. Just a tad. Mm. I like it with the vinegar better. Yeah, this is a little bit too rich for my taste. Mm. That's probably 400 calories right there. It's good, but yeah, very heavy. But round two, let's try some of both. In search of the perfect fish and chips. Just a little bit. I'm gonna pour it all out. Here it goes. Huge piece of fish. Mm. The fish, how would I describe it? Cooked just right. Very tender. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's perfect. I don't, I don't think I've ever had fish and chips like this. It's amazing. You gotta give it a try. I, gotta, I need more napkins. Fish and chips? Sakusaku. Sakusaku. Juicy. Juicy. Dip. Mm. It tastes simple. Simple, but. Is it oily? Kind of flavorful. It's kind of oily. Yeah. Of course, it's oily. It's fish and chips. Yeah. 
If it's not oily, it's not fat at all. It's not that fish and chips. You left too much food. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Eric! <laughs> Why would he... Too much oil or something. Honestly, I just don't feel good. Oh, it's not like you. It's right. it, only half I could go, get through. I don't think I could eat another bite. Looks like you didn't eat anything. I know. It's, it's, it's just, there's so much volume here. <laughs> and this is just the regular order, it's not the large order. So. But don't the, try it. <laughs> the fries are really, really good though. The fries, yeah, definitely. The best. I could eat these all day. Alright, so this is going to be one of those rare Eric mealtime finishes where I don't eat it. Alright. You still hungry? I'm full. You're full. Alright, I'm going to take these home and I'm going to feed them to my dog. No, my cat. Cats eat fish. <laughs> too greasy, too oily. At first it tasted really, really good. It was amazing with the sauce and stuff, but then it was like five minutes later it hit me, just right here in the gut. It is now time to rate this meal. And on a one to six, the Eric Surf, uh, the Eric meal time rating, I'm gonna give it a three star rating. Three out of six. It's a meh. It was good at first. The lobster roll was a six for sure, but overall the meal is a three. It's just like, I don't know. I, I wanted a salad or I needed some veggies or something. What did you think of the meal for on the one to six? One is the lowest. Five. Oh, he's giving it. That's a no no. No no. Five five. So you had the burger though, right? So, yeah. I think I think if I would have had the burger, it would have been much higher. But whatever. I'm not I'm not from London, so yeah. So you guys go ahead, hate and rate, do whatever you have to do down below in the comments. And uh, on behalf of myself and Ronnie Ronnie nine nine nine. Thank you for watching and make sure you go over to his channel if you're interested in Japanese cooking because he does all the menus, right? You do it all, right? You do the cooking. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in learning how to cook Japanese food, this is your man for sure. And it's simple cooking, right? Simple, simple cooking, right? Anybody can do it. It's bilingual. You have the title. Sometimes you speak English, sometimes you don't, but there's always titles. Card is right there. So definitely go check out the card. and. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been more of sort of like a travel vlog, I think. But uh, yeah, a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, I'm gonna end it here. And I'll end it with the fish. If anybody wants a bite, you guys just go ahead and, and get in there. Where's the fork? Here, open your mouths. Open, open, focus, focus. It looks like a pig's, it looks like a pig. That's too close, I think. Look at that, that looks like a pig, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright guys, we're out of here. Thanks for watching, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see ya in the next one.